Alright guys, Quinn here. Uh, took this new Franke out to the range. I'm trying to improve the lighting here. This the house is great for living. The lighting is great for living, but not so much for filming. And you notice right here on the uh, receiver is stamped Benelli USA. Uh, the gun is a shooter for sure. I had a couple bullet holes that were touching each other, but I was really just sighting in and running th some ammo through it. I'll get you more detailed range report after I go back this week. What I wanted to talk about a little bit are the differences between this and the Benelli Lupo. I actually ordered a Lupo and went and inspected it and refused it at the store and that was even with the thing being $500 off. They share some commonalities. Now this gun is half a pound heavier. It has four plus one. Here I'll show you. It's empty. Four plus one in the uh, detachable box magazine. The Lupo is five plus one. The Lupo is like a, ch a kind of a baby chassis style. The chassis is a ground or a um, machined piece of aluminum right here. So the four and then the stock are um, what are the composite materials. One of the big selling features of the Lupo is that it's got all this customizability. You can put a cast on it if you want, which is the stock going side to side, typical for shotgun shooters. It comes with a neutral stock. So does this uh, Momentum Elite. I never really shoot with a cast anyway, so that wasn't a feature. And then also it has a shim kit like a shotgun would, so you can adjust the drop. Now I have a kind of a smallish head, so I would never adjust the drop down anyway. I would only adjust it up, which you can't do. The only way to adjust it up, they, it does have a built-in cheek, um, like soft gel cheek comb, and you can get a, uh, it comes with the standard, which is pretty flush, and then you can get a medium or a high. They do not, the gun does not come with that. So you have to buy those separate, and those are $100 each. I did order a, um, a cheek riser for this that just flips on there, uh, and then you can carry a few bullets, so I'll show you that. The action didn't seem any better on the Lupo than it is on this Franke. The one design problem that I have with the Momentum Elite is you see this button right here? That is your bolt release button. You simply push it and pull the bolt out and then it slides right out like that. The Lupo, and this is a nice bolt, fluted bolt, chrome fluted, pretty nice. Um, the bolt on the Lupo is not fluted, but it has some large scallops here, uh, which allows it to have that extra round uh, as far as capacity goes, and I think it shaves weight. Let's put it back in, push the button again, slide it in, and you're good. The design issue I have is you see this channel is dug right here, and now watch that button. I'll get you on there. Um, the problem that I see is like my Remington short action, I don't think there's perceptible or noticeable drag on the uh, bolt when I'm cycling it. So you watch that button. See it? Move. And if you can hear that little slide sound, that is the only friction that's occurring on the bolt is the fact that this bolt catch mechanism engages in that channel through cycling. And that is the only bit of grit or resistance that I have in the action. So I thought maybe the Lupo would get around that. And it um, has the same style of bolt release, so it operates in the same way. So you do gain uh, capacity plus one. You do shed a pound of weight. You do get like they call it the mini chassis style, um, which may help with long-term accuracy. But the MOA guarantee certificate that came in the box with this actually had a better number than the certificate that was in that Lupo box. Uh, furthermore, the Lupo is threaded, but you do not get a muzzle brake included. With this, you get the threaded muzzle and the muzzle brake is thrown in. So that's another $100. If this rifle didn't fit me so well, maybe there'd be some advantages to the Lupo. But that Lupo retails for like 2x of this, and it just didn't feel like a 2x value. 
frankly, I refused it and I could have gotten into the thing for um, about $1,000. So only $100 more than this retails for, although you can get into these for mid sevens or 800 ish. Generally, the, the reason those Lupos are on blowout is because it did not have the best coating, which is the 25 year warranty coating. Personally, I think this bronze Cerakote looks better anyway. Um, so I passed on that even though it was only like plus 300 bucks over this one. I thought when I went and checked it out and picked it up, I was just going to be totally blown away, and I really wasn't. Also, on this um, Momentum Elite, this is user adjustable from 2 to 4 pounds, and on the Benelli, it's adjustable from 2.2 to maybe 4.4, .4, so it doesn't even go down as low on the low end. And frankly, this action is stamped Benelli USA, right? I mean, this is the the little brother to the Lupo, um, they all, all the Beretta group firearms are borrowing technology from each other. Uh, you've got Sacco, you've got Benelli, um, you've got Franke. So you're going to see some design features on each one. The other thing is if you look, the swivel attachment points here recessed in, and integrated and then on the back here are identical to the Lupo as well as the little punch out which is right here if you want to attach a bipod that is the exact same as it is on the Lupo just to me and I'm sure the Lupo is a fine shooting gun I did not shoot it because I did not take delivery of it um, I'm sure it's a fine shooting gun it looks like it's very accurate and has done well in all the reviews and field tests I just don't think you're getting 2x value over the Momentum Elite. Um, you could even go with the Momentum Elite Varmint, but then you're adding a couple pounds to the rifle, which it obviously has some, some downsides. Um, the safety is on the right, kind of a traditional um, Remington 700 safety location, whereas the Lupo safety is on the Tang and it's ambidextrous, and then you do have a charge indicator when you have a, a round in the chamber or the bolt has been cycled. You get the same thing here, but it's not um, coated red. So uh, we know the gun's empty. So you see this little button? That's a firing pin. Oh, I've got to say. So there it goes away. So if you ever wonder if you're loaded or not, if you've cycled that bolt, that is totally flush. Cycle the action, and now the button is out. It's not painted red on the side or anything, whereas the Lupo is. Um, but i got to say, I think if you're really looking for the most bang for your buck and you want to get value... Um, the bedded nature of the Lupo did feel like it was um, more robust than this issue. But I took it out yesterday, and I think this thing is going to be a tack driver. I had no issues, 0 to 25, shot it to at 100, took it out to 200, no problems at all. Great first day out at the range. I will give you a more in-depth range report. But I just wanted to point out some of the features and benefits you get with this versus what you could have in the Lupo for substantially more money. And in my opinion, it just didn't feel, I thought it was gonna feel light years better and it just didn't. So I ended up saying thanks, but no thanks, uh, keeping this thing and um, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, the one design issue that I have with this whole setup is that button, the way it rides the, the bolt and the Lupo is set up the same way. So um, hope this helps you guys if you're kind of torn between, do I want a sub $1,000, well-made kind of high end of the middle five hundred to thousand um, dollar hunting rifle tier or do i want to go 2x of that and jump way up to the fifteen hundred dollar mark in which case you have a whole bunch of other options you could be considering instead of the lupo i really wanted to love it it just didn't really you know it just didn't melt my butter so that's it you guys have a great day we'll give you more uh after we get this thing totally dialed in and do tracking tests and some other stuff. Have a great day. Hope this helps you make informed decisions. Bye-bye.